You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, and you can find us online at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters of the Midday Show. Very excited to have Kurt Weil and the Violators back in the KEXP studios where you belong. Thank you for coming in today. It's yeah. So, so great you. to see you always. Thank you. We are absolutely loving the new record, and you're going to start off with a couple of tracks from that, yeah? Yeah. Why don't you take it away? All right.
Man, oh man, that sounds great. We've got Kurt Vile and the Violators live on KEXP playing songs from the fantastic new record, Believe I'm Going Down. That's out on Matador Records, and he's got a great live band with him, as always. And uh, got another track for us? Yep. It's, uh, it's another one called Pretty Pimpin'. Uh-oh. I think I've heard that one. Whoops! About one million times on KEXP, as a matter of fact. Awesome. I know, I saw I seen I seen it. I seen it on there. Thanks for playing it. Alright, here we go.
had a, I just had a, uh, a uh, he- headphones guitar solo. <laughs> my, my headphones went down onto my guitar. And I, <laughs> I thought you were going to strangle yourself there. <laughs> it's Kurt Vile and the Violators live on KEXP, and we are so thrilled always to have you in studio. Kurt, you want to introduce this great band that you have with you? Yes, I do. Uh, over there at the Wurlitzer Electric Piano and um, other instruments is Jesse Turbovich, who's been with me for a long time. Uh, since the beginning of the Violators, and then over there is Rob Laxo in the blonde hair, for all of you listening <laughs> who see him, and um, uh, yeah, that's Rob Laxo, and then on the drums in black, for all of you who see him, um, is Kyle Spence on drums, and, uh, and then we got a nice treat here, we got Farmer Dave from uh, California, California IA, um, who's a well-known, amazing musician that we play with a lot, but we uh, managed to pull him out of uh, California. Well, lucky you. And uh, I wasn't going to jump right in here, but since you mentioned California, it seems like uh, every third or fourth review I read, um, someone says, this is your California album. And I know that you recorded some of the record in California, I think in uh, Joshua Tree and maybe L.A. as well. Mm -hmm. But you also recorded in your hometown of Philadelphia, and I heard in Athens, Georgia. So do you feel like that's an apt description, that that's your California desert album? I think that um, people say that. Well, yeah, I think... One reason maybe is because I talk about the desert a lot, or there's some some good sessions. Yeah, and it's not definitely obviously you know not all California, but I think it has some of those some of those uh, I don't know wide open vibes or something. I don't know California vibes. Yeah, I think, but you know the reality is it's not all California. You know. Can you tell me though a little bit about that experience recording in the desert? I heard not necessarily on the album, but that you got to jam with Tenarwin, which is one of our favorite bands. Yeah, I did. I would. Uh, I recorded with them. I played on their recordings. Uh, it just like two things. It just sort of worked out because uh, a friend of mine said we should, you know, work with David Catching at um, Rancho de la Luna, which is where you know the sessions were. And then Tenarwin happened to be there like, oh, the week before, and it, you know, and I, I don't know. We kept. I'm not, not explaining this really good, honestly, but. Uh, <laughs> It, things just collided, you know. It was just worked out serendipitously. Were they around at all when you were recording any of your record? No, they weren't, and that was a good thing because <laughs> I probably would have just clammed up. That's actually what I did when I first played with them. Is I was really nervous and I clammed up, but then the next day, I I, I got it back. I bet it was tons of fun, though. It was amazing. Was it a great time out in California? Because it feels like the vibe, just the mood you'd be in when you were making the record would be different, you know, than the climate and sort of the vibe in on the East Coast. Yeah, I honestly think we got all those, we captured the sort of laid back California thing and the edgy East Coast thing in Athens where my drummer Kyle, um, you know, has a studio down there. We recorded songs like That's Life, though, which are definitely more, a little more edgy. We you know, we were playing that song over and over again for like a day and a half, and then finally I'm like, ah, oh, you know, we all almost collapsed because it's a pretty relatively dark song to play over and over again. But that's why it's, you know, that's how we work. And then Rob recorded a lot of it in uh, all over, but uh, East Coast style too. You mentioned playing the songs over and over again. Do they come pretty quickly to you, or do you sort of labor over them and, and think of them, overthink th- them maybe? Mm, well, I think that, when I write them, they come pretty quick. I might like obsessively fine tune, but I think the recording process you can you can certainly just just I mean it, sometimes it's it's good, but you can labor over them over over overly. So but well, yeah. it could never end if you know unless yeah. you gave yourself a stopping point. It's on. Yeah, eventually they just have a deadline, and then or else the record doesn't come out. So that's that's usually how the records get done. <laughs> this record is uh, ha- showcases your wonderful guitar playing, but also a lot of piano and even some banjo on this record. Were you thinking on the outset that you wanted to have a different sound, or did that just kind of come organically in the creating of the music? I think I was thinking a lot about keys in like a Randy Newman sense and other songwriters that just play piano. You know, I mean, there's the piano players that you know 
move over to piano after guitar like Neil Young or John Lennon, etc. You know, and obviously there's a whole different space with the piano. But then there's other piano players that there's other musicians that only p play piano like Randy Newman or Bill Fay, etc. Or even some like you know some like jazz piano player. I'll, I was just thinking focusing on that kind of thing more. And then the banjo, same deal. I was just I grew up on the banjo and I, I just kept thinking about it. I'd, and I just wanted to kind of get a few different outlets, you know. Wow, I didn't know that you grew up on the banjo. I know you're from a fairly large family. Was music something that was always around? E yes, my yeah, my dad he would play the same, you know, bluegrass songs over and over again in the car sing really loud and annoyingly. So I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> Maybe Ned, you didn't <laughs> love his singing, but did you like that music that he was playing at the time? Um, no, I did. I'm just kidding. I liked his singing. I wonder <laughs> where I got that from. <laughs> We're live on KEXP with Kurt Vile and the Violators, the new album, Believe I'm Going Down, and uh, we would love to hear another track if okay. you're up for it. Sure. Uh, I can't remember. Did DB? Is this in the right tuning? That would be good. Yep. Cool.
Oh, that sounds so good. We're live in the KEXP studios. It's Kurt Vile and the Violators. They're heading to the Midwest mm-hmm. on Wednesday. Going to be in Minneapolis, two nights in Chicago, and also in Detroit. Are you on a long tour? Or? It is. Uh, it's pretty long. I would say it just started, and it feels really long already. But what are we? Uh, we're over halfway through the U.S. tour, and then we have a few days off, and we go to Europe. Ba- basically, it's like a month in the States and a month in Europe, and then off for the ha. Thanksgiving to Christmas and and back out. Back out. That sounds great. Australia. Australia. In uh, in the January, the month of January. That sounds like the best thing ever. <laughs> Lots of opportunity for your fans all over to see you. Yeah, um, we're we're excited for sure. Winter in Australia sounds great. Have you ever been there? No, I'd love to go. Can I go with you? Sure. All right. All right. On the road with Kurt Vile and the Violators. But one more track before okay. we go. We're going to do some kind of version of uh, Gold Tone here for you. How long we got? Yeah. As long as you want. Good, good. Perfect. See ya. Thank you again. Deep dark. 
your gold chain.
Nicely done. Thanks. That was great. Gold Tone from Waking on a Pretty Days, the 2013 album from Curd File, and the new one, Believe I'm Going Down. If you haven't picked it up yet, you need to run right out today and get that. Thank you so much, Kurt. Yeah, thank you again so much. We really appreciate it. It's good to be back. It's always great to see all of you. And good luck on the tour. And uh, I guess we'll hook up again um, in Australia in January. Totally. (laughs) And until next time, you've got to tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.